Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about a quick little feature called a zoom in and zoom out uh, in Internet Explorer 10. Actually all versions of Internet Explorer even if you're in the old Windows XP way up to now um, it all works the same. We all come to a point where we buy this computer that has such a high resolution that sometimes when you go on the web you just think about how the text is small and if you're like me you're getting older um, what happens is that you'll soon notice that when things are small they're hard to read and uh, even if you have glasses or even more when you have glasses I think it's uh, really something to think about you'll be surfing the web and you'll be saying to yourself wow this is way too small so there's a quick way to actually expand and also make smaller text. It's really important to know both because on some websites you might want things to be bigger. On others it might be too big and you want to go smaller. So um, really really two ways of um, even three ways um, but not all computers work the same so I'll explain to you all three methods of doing it. If you try one and it doesn't work well you'll have two other options to try and uh, one of the three options is going to work for sure on your computer so you're on the web you're surfing let's go uh, for example use Internet Explorer a metro version and um, you go to this uh, to a website of some sort so a great example that I like to use for uh, small text sometimes is uh, Wikipedia because um, sometimes the articles are really really small so we'll just take the uh, start page of Wikipedia and here um, you'll think well it's a little too small what do I do okay if you have a touch screen mm, most laptops that I've seen with touch screens or tablets will let you pinch out or pinch in which will let you uh, actually make things bigger or make things smaller so that's the first thing. Two, two fingers, you pinch in or pinch out to make things bigger or smaller. Most touch screens uh, that I've seen actually accept this uh, little pinch. So uh, if you have a touch screen, it's probably the easiest way to make things bigger or smaller. If you have a laptop that does not have a touch screen, you can also pinch in and pinch out on most laptops that are not touch with the pad. So if we go down on the pad of the computer right here, you pinch in or out and it does the same thing. So I'll do it on my pad here. Pinch out, pinch in. You see that it really makes things bigger or smaller. So if you don't have a touch screen, then probably that your uh, pad on your laptop will let you make things bigger or smaller. Now you've tried that, you've tried the pad and you're thinking well nothing works. Maybe you have a desktop and you're on a mouse and you say well I don't have a touch screen and my mouse doesn't let me do that. What can I do? Then you have a third option and it's with the keyboard. You'll locate on the lower left of your keyboard the control key or CTRL and you'll hold it down and you'll press the plus sign on your keyboard which is on the upper right uh, of the zero. So hold down CTRL plus and you just do a few uh, taps on the plus and you see everything gets bigger. Same thing, we'll do the reverse. You hold down CTRL key and do the minus sign. And here everything becomes smaller. The CTRL plus and minus is really the official 100% sure way of working. Uh, it works everywhere on all computers, even on older computers. If you stumble upon this article or this video, and you're thinking, well, I'm in Windows XP. Well, Control Plus and Minus are going to work 
whatever version of Explorer you have, whatever version of Windows you have, this is really the universal um, make things bigger or smaller. So CTRL plus and CTRL minus. So control plus and control minus will make things bigger or smaller on your screen. So uh, if you needed help and you don't want to use the uh, magnifier from Windows to make everything big, all you want to have is the text in Internet Explorer, then use one of these methods, pinch on the screen or expand, pinch or expand on your pad on your laptop or sorry, CTRL plus and CTRL minus to have um, bigger or smaller text. Um, I give the example of an Internet Explorer because that's mostly where we use it usually because we read. Um, if you're like me, I read a lot on the web. So by having this uh, little trick, it's cool because when it's too small, you can make things bigger. Keep in mind that there's a drawback to making things bigger. Uh, and an example of that is that if you go into a website, for example, I'll go into my local news website uh, here, or maybe not, I'll, I'll go to a, this uh, website here and uh, actually have it um, show up, Computer World, one of the uh, websites that I go often for some computer news. Uh, the bigger you go, so for example, if I pinch out, the bigger you go, it means that you'll be missing out on the left and the right side of information. So sometimes it gets annoying because you'll start to scroll from left to right. If you have a touch screen, it's not too bad because you just swipe. But if you don't have a touch screen, then you can use the uh, arrow keys. But um, it's still an annoyance. So once you go to a website, if everything is a little too big, you'll want to actually make things smaller because you want everything to fit if possible on the screen. One great feature of uh, actually making everything bigger is also the fact that you can make things bigger and just fit perfectly on the screen which is also nice. Text is bigger and you use all the available space because one of the biggest problems you'll have with um, internet is that when you have a computer that the screen resolution is so high you'll notice that there are some white spaces on the left, the right, and you're thinking, well, you know, why am I using just 60% of my total screen? Well, with this little trick that I've just shown you on how to make things bigger, um, you can now fit any website directly on your computer screen and so that you don't lose any available space for viewing. So it's a cool trick to have and to learn. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about it. So um, it's really, really sad because it's really uh, one of the cool tricks. And uh, one of the questions that people ask me the most is really how do I make things bigger because it's really too small on my screen. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online. Maybe you have any comments, you have some questions, maybe you have a uh, video you'd like us to do about a feature. Um, it's cool because you'll be helping yourself, but you'll also be helping others. And um, if you have that new Windows 8 machine, take a look at all our videos, more than a hundred videos, showing you how to use and how to um, play around with all of the uh, Windows 8 uh, settings and going through your apps and learning how to use it. Um, I think it's a cool channel to be and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.